sure hope the neighbors don't mind. Our chief engineer spends most of his time in his machine shop, testing his automats over and over again. Who is that? There he is. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. He's coming in. What's up, boys? What's up, man? Hey, I come in peace. I brought a Ford guy. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, you pull in his driveway, it's probably gonna stop running right. <laughs> hey, if you guys don't know this car, you should. You probably know this car. I've talked a lot about it, and it's it's been uh, kind of on the YouTube's a little bit. But this is uh, this is Chris Johnson, right? Tell everybody who you are. All right, uh, Chris Johnson. We're from South Alabama. So we got a YouTube channel, 323 Fabrication. We do a little bit of all of it. We actually. We actually had a Ford for a little while on the channel. Yes, 69 sir. Mach 1. That's right. right. Now, what, what's the what's the setup on the car? Just if people so don't know, it's a uh, Gen 4 uh, used suburban short block. Oh, I love it's it. It's got a I love ported that. tick oil pump, a swap pan, Chineseium swap pan. I'm not going to pay for a Holly that's made in the same plant <laughs> right. for you know twice the price. <laughs> right. Uh, Doug's fender well headers, a set of 243s that I ported. It's got a tick polluter V2 cam, and then all the good stuff goes with it. Uh, titanium retainers. Did a bronze bushing kit on the trunnion, on the rocker arms, and then LS6 intake, ported stock throttle body. It's got a 456 gear, a T56 F body trans. It made 370 wheel on a hot day in June. I tune it. It's on a Holley Terminator X. Um, I don't tune anything else. I tune my stuff that way when it blows yeah. up. That way when it blows yeah. up. That way when it blows yeah. up. Responsible for it. So I won't ask you to do mine. No, well, I mean, <laughs> I'll lend a hand, but I'm not gonna be like, "Yo, here's the tune." And I saw your video on you getting it striped. Who was the dude's name? Swan. Oh, check him out. So he's from Birmingham. Here's his info. Swan Graphics. Awesome guy, Michael Swan. He's got a '69 Chevy van. He's you know he's from the right side of the family. <laughs> right. But uh. Cool dude, jam up, came all the way down there to us just to letter the car. No kidding. Yeah. That's spent, cool. Spent like two days on the road for me. Right before Power Tour, we did Power Tour. Left the house with 200 miles on the car, and it did really, really well. Very minor issues. I don't know if I'd have the nuts to do that. Dude, I just, I, I love it, <laughs> You're like, man. it's going to work or it's not. Yeah, well, that's the way I figured it, you know. But uh, the, Very cool. the, the, the goal for the car is drag and drive events. That's why I went LS. That's why I went six speed. Awesome. It's not going to be competitive because it's it doesn't fit the gas class because the motor's obviously made after 74, I think, is the cutoff, or 68 or whatever. Okay. It's not based off a motor built from that era. Um, the stick class is unlimited, so it won't be competitive. Yeah, it's hard that. to... But, you know, it'll be fun either way. It's fun and it's fucking cool. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I, I mean, appreciate it. We got a lot of junk, awesome. so y'all go check it out. There's a lot of rust on the channel. This is got the least of them all yeah yeah absolutely be sure to check them out hey guys i hope you enjoyed that again that was my buddy chris johnson from south alabama and his car is a chevy 2 gasser it's a 62 or 63 i can't i don't know but i don't know the chevrolets very well but anyways it's a rad car and uh, he built it all at home chris is a talented fabricator and welder and all around builder and super cool guy so make sure you check out his channel 323 fabrication here on youtube and now something kind of exciting. While Chris and I were talking, and uh, he's had this idea like bouncing around his head for a while. He wants to do kind of like, so he built his car for uh, drag and drive events. Uh, I don't really have a car that's set up for that. I mean, this, <clears throat> this Falcon's kind of just a street car. I, I wanted it to turn and, and go fast and everything. So it really wouldn't fit that vibe, but there's nothing stopping me from doing those events. So anyways, Chris and I were talking back and forth and he's got a lot of good ideas about ideas that he wants to do, <clears throat> excuse me, here in Alabama, uh, just kind of local hometown little events, whether it's just cruises or like hitting up a museum, getting a group of guys together, hitting up a museum and going out to lunch or, or just doing some stuff. Long story short, we're gonna try and put some events together, maybe in the fall or winter of this year. This is 2023 when you're watching this. Um, September of 2023 when you're watching this. So keep an eye out on Chris's channel and my channel and we're going to talk about this as we can put something together and hopefully get a group of guys together and do something semi-local, something easy, a day or two event, maybe just an all day or I don't know, but keep your eyes peeled for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to doing that, meeting some more folks out here. Anyways guys, thanks for coming around. <laughs> <laughs>